Hello everyone. Welcome to Basic Electronics Tutorials. In this video, I'm going to discuss upon the RC coupled amplifier. Please note, in my previous video, I have discussed about the voltage divider bias configuration. That video will be a prerequisite for understanding the principle of operation of the RC coupled amplifier. So, I highly recommend you to watch that video first before you continue with this one. You can watch that video by clicking on the link shown in the top right corner right now or I will leave the link of the same in the video description below. Coming back to the topic of this video, let us first understand what is a RC coupled amplifier. A RC coupled amplifier as shown in figure 1 here is basically a multi-stage amplifier circuit extensively used in electronic circuits. In this amplifier circuit, the individual stages of the amplifier are connected to one another using a resistor-capacitor combination due to which it gets its name as the RC coupled amplifier. Please note, the resistor and capacitor that are used to connect the individual stages are these. One is RC, another one is CC. It should be noted that each stage of the multi-stage RC coupled amplifier is nothing but a common emitter amplifier circuit. This is shown in figure 2 here and as I already said, this indicates one of the stages of the multi-stage RC coupled amplifier. Let us now understand the principle of operation and construction of this single stage RC coupled amplifier circuit. Let us start with the type of the input signal that is being used. Please note this is an AC signal. Let me draw the waveform for one cycle of the input AC signal here. Moving on, C in here is the input capacitor that is used to couple the input AC signal to the base of the transistor. So, this capacitor acts as the coupling capacitor. Since a capacitor blocks DC signal, this capacitor only passes AC content of the input signal to the base terminal of the transistor. Moving on, the resistors R1 and R2 form the voltage divider network and help in proper biasing of the transistor. Coming to the resistor at the emitter, which is RE, this is connected for stabilizing the network. The capacitor across the emitter resistance, which is CE, is called as the bypass capacitor and it offers low reactance path to the signal. This bypass capacitor passes only AC signal while restricting the DC signal. This causes only DC voltage to drop across the emitter resistor RE while the entire AC voltage will be coupled to the next stage. Moving on, the resistor at the collector terminal RC is used as the load impedance. And the capacitor CC which is connected at the collector terminal is again a coupling capacitor and it is used to couple the output of the signal of the amplifier circuit to the next stage. Further, it is also useful in preventing DC interference between the stages and controls the shift of the operating point. The capacitor CC also increases the stability of the network as it blocks the DC signal while offering a low resistance path to the AC signals, thereby preventing the DC bias condition of one stage affecting the next stage. And lastly, the output signal is measured across the capacitor CC's other terminal and the ground terminal. Please note, this is a common emitter configuration circuit. Therefore, the output signal is 180 degree phase shifted with respect to the input signal. I'll discuss how this phase reversal happens in the later part of this video. Coming to the last point in the construction, 
For this amplifier circuit, the voltage drop across the collector and the emitter terminals is chosen to be 50% of the supply voltage, which is VCC. This design aspect is considered to ensure appropriate biasing point for the transistor. Right. With that, we have now completed the discussion on the construction of a single stage RC coupled amplifier circuit. Let us now move on and discuss the principle of operation of the RC coupled amplifier circuit. Let us start the discussion on the operation of the RC coupled amplifier by noting down the type of the input signal once again. As already discussed, this is an AC signal. Since the circuit is designed to operate as an amplifier, we refer to the input signal as a weak AC signal. As you can see in the circuit diagram, a weak input signal is applied to the base to emitter network of the RC coupled amplifier circuit. The input capacitor C in blocks the DC content in the input signal and passes only the AC content to the base terminal of the transistor. Note that the resistors R1 and R2 form the voltage divider bias network and they enable the transistor to bias in the active region of operation. Further, the resistors R1 and R2 form the voltage divider bias network and they make sure the location of the Q point is fixed and does not change even when the current gain parameter beta changes. We know that the current gain parameter of the common emitter configuration is defined by beta and is equal to the output current which is the collector current IC divided by the input current which is the base current IB. If I rearrange this equation for the collector current IC, the equation would be IC equals beta IB. From this equation, we understand that the input AC signal applied to the base of the transistor gets amplified and appears across the load resistor RC. This output signal is then passed through the coupling capacitor CC to the next stage and the complete operation repeats itself in the next stage as well. Please note, this is a common emitter amplifier and therefore the voltage gain for this circuit should be greater than 1. Therefore, the output signal V out will be greater than the input signal V in. So, we understand that the weak input AC signal is now amplified by the RC coupled amplifier circuit and that appears at the output as V out. This signal is once again further coupled to the next stage of RC coupled amplifier where the same operation is repeated. One of the important aspects of the RC coupled amplifier circuit is that the output voltage is 180 degree phase shifted with respect to the input voltage. This is called as phase reversal. Let us now understand how and why this phase reversal happens in the RC coupled amplifier circuit. Let me analyze the behavior of the circuit during the positive half cycle of the input signal first. If you look at the half cycle waveform between 0 and let us say pi by 2, you will note that the input voltage between this interval is actually increasing. We know that if the input voltage increases, the input current IB also increases. We have already discussed the relation between the output current IC and the input current IB which is given by IC equals beta IB. Therefore, according to this equation, when the input current IB increases, the output current IC also increases by a factor equal to beta. Since we are trying to find the phase reversal operation, let me now write the equation for the voltage at the collector terminal, which is given by VC equals VCC minus of IC into RC. 
Please note in this equation Vcc is constant and the load impedance Rc is also constant. We want to find the value of the collector voltage Vc and if you look at the RHS of the equation, the only parameter now that is varying is IC. Coming back to the base network, we were just discussing that between omega t equal to 0 and pi by 2, input voltage increases. As input voltage increases, the base current increases and therefore the collector current also increases. Now, if I apply that concept to the equation of Vc here, you will note that as IC increases, the value of Vc should decrease. This is shown in figure 3 here. Please note the blue waveform represents the weak input AC signal and the magenta colored waveform represents the output signal. The equation relating them are pretty simple. The output voltage Vc is equal to the supply voltage Vcc minus of IC into RC. If the input voltage V in increases, this causes the base current IB to increase. If IB increases, the collector current IC also increases. If I apply an increasing value of IC to the VC equation, you will note that the RHS decreases. Therefore, the value of VC should decrease. This is shown in this part of the waveform here. As you can see, as long as the input voltage is increasing, which is between 0 and pi by 2, the output voltage decreases. And from pi by 2 to pi, where the input voltage is decreasing, the output voltage Vc increases. Therefore, we find that any increase in the input signal causes the output signal to decrease and vice versa. A similar approximation can also be provided for the behavior of the circuit during the negative half cycle of the input supply. Hence, we conclude that in a single stage RC coupled amplifier circuit, the output signal is said to have a 180 degree phase shift with respect to the input signal. Coming back to our multi stage RC coupled amplifier circuit, you should note that the total gain of the multi stage amplifier circuit, which let me represent it by AV is less than the product of the individual stages where I have assumed AV1 as the gain of the first stage amplifier and AV2 as the gain of the second stage amplifier. You might ask the question why is the total gain less than the product of individual gains. This is because when the second stage is made to follow the first stage the effective load resistance of the first stage will be reduced due to the loading effect of the input impedance of the second stage. Therefore, the value of the voltage gain of the first stage when it is connected to a multi-stage circuit will be less than its individual stage value. It is because of this characteristic of the amplifier circuit, the total voltage gain AV is less than the product of individual voltage gains if at all these amplifier circuits were connected separately. However, you should note that since the second stage does not have a following stage, the voltage gain of the second stage or simply the last stage in the network remains always unchanged. Well, with that we have come to the end of this video on RC coupled amplifier circuit. In my next video, I will take up some numericals on multi-stage as well as single stage RC coupled amplifier circuits. So stay tuned. If you found this video to be informative, kindly like and share this video and subscribe to my channel for more tutorials on basic electronics. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.